What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am back today with another reaction to a trailer that has dropped again stupid o'clock in the morning. Why do they keep doing this? The Kingdom Hearts one earlier this week was again six in the morning I think and then this Resident Evil one today I think was eight o'clock in the morning and I don't do mornings. If I don't have to I will not get up in the morning. Ah, <sighs> all right, so in regards to Resident Evil 2 Remake, I have played the Leon demo. I don't know if the Leon demo is ever actually gonna come to the PlayStation Store or anything like that. Now, of course, with Resident Evil 7, we all spend hours, days, weeks on the Resident Evil 7 demo, trying to sort out like, what was the dummy finger for and all that good stuff. So it would be nice for them to maybe drop a different Resident Evil demo for us on the store, but I have no idea if we're gonna get that or anything like that. Now, what I have seen about this trailer today is apparently it's very story-based. It's like a story trailer. So let's go ahead and delve in. Hopefully there's no um, like closed captions or anything like that because obviously I think this is from the Tokyo uh, game show. What's your mom like? She works at Umbrella. So where's your dad? He, um... He's gone. So nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Leon. Get down! Come on! I'll be there! I'm sure you beat me here. By the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Lab. Doggy! You gotta be kidding me. Get off of me! Get the hell out of here. Before it's too late. What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G virus. What exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Ooh. What the? I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Identify yourself. Stop! You'll never get the G virus! Sherry, come on! I'm gonna be a little bit harsh just now though actually um might go back through this just for a second so the graphics look absolutely stunning Sherry looks amazing Claire is beautiful as always uh what did Ada wear in Resident Evil 2 now I understand like just clicking back through it just now I understand that Claire isn't wearing her original like short shorts and things like that sad to me i don't know why they've done that why they've wanted to make her look more like claire from resident evil revelations 2 because she gets there that's the point this is supposed to be the first time that we're seeing claire redfield and she's supposed to just be in her little short shorts her big boots her what was it it was like a pink top that she had on with like the arms showing and I just want to look this up for a second because I am trying to remember Ada Wong, Resi 2. What did she have on? Ah, of course, right. So Ada Wong had on kind of similar actually to um, Claire a little bit. She also had like the pink top on along with like the leggings and things like that. But she was... She was just like super sexy 
You know what I mean? She was always super sexy. And I, I don't understand what they've done with Ada. Like, I'm not blown away. Hold on, let me just find... Yeah, so she's wearing, like, an old lady jacket with shades on indoors. Which is, like, I'm looking at the older pictures of her here, and it's a little bit weird. Um, let's see if I can get another picture of her just now. Yeah, so she's in, like, a, a trench coat style thing and has shades on. Obviously this is all happening at night time, so the shades on indoors is a typical American thing, I suppose. But I'm not digging her outfit whatsoever. I just, I don't, I don't like it, but whatever, it'll grow on me. The dog's amazing. I actually, what I do like about this is the fact that they're not sticking to the original Resident Evil 2, so there's going to be a lot of surprises out there, which is going to be good for new players as well, because it might make them want to go back through the old school fixed camera angles that were Resident Evil 2. But I really like the fact that with Resident Evil 2 Remake, that they're not just, you know, following the story from A to B, pretty much like what we got when we had Crash Bandicoot get remade and everything was like exact down to like the boxes and everything like that and yeah I like that it, um I don't know I'm really excited for this game but for whatever reason maybe it's because I know what happens in Resident Evil 2 I didn't feel completely blown away I think for me I, I want to see a little bit more gameplay but I'm just hoping that they don't change it too much and I would have liked to have seen the original outfits on the actual um, characters. The other thing I want to discuss from the trailer is the voice acting. I think Claire sounds amazing, Sherry sounds amazing. Again, I just feel like whoever is doing Ada, I wasn't 110% convinced. Um, I'd like to get your guys' comment on that actually in regards to some of the voice acting that we're seeing because I think I had this criticism in the last trailer that I watched for Resident Evil 2 and I, I felt like the, the voice acting was slightly off a little bit. So what do you guys make about that? Also, the original Resident Evil 2 had like Leon A and Claire B and a lot of the trailers I have seen have obviously shown Leon dealing with Marvin and also the demo that I played of Resident Evil 2 Remake was surrounded by the area of when you first meet Marvin and then chill out in his office for a little bit, you get the knife and then that kind of leads you on to some of the other puzzles. But in this trailer today we actually saw Claire dealing with Marvin so I haven't done too much research in regards to Resident Evil 2 because Sometimes I feel like they give a little bit too much away and I don't want to be completely spoiled when I go into the game myself. So I haven't actually seen if we're getting like the Leon A and the Claire B and things like that because I haven't really looked for that information. But I would actually be quite interested to know if we're getting the different scenarios again with this game. So if you guys know anything about that, then leave it in the comment section so that I can find out. I think overall this game is going to be so much darker than the original Resident Evil 2 and because it is over the shoulder I feel like it's definitely going to have the scares that I love from horror games. I don't play too many horror games but The Evil Within and The Evil Within 2 are actually two of my all-time favorite horror games so I'm very much excited to play Resident Evil 2 Remake because it is over the shoulder. Um, first person horror games are just a little bit too much for me. Resident Evil 7 wasn't too bad. Actually, I managed to do that game in just a couple of days and survived quite easily. But first person tends to be horrible. Probably Outlast is a better example of that. But even though it's over the shoulder, it's still incredibly creepy. And yeah, I'm just really excited to find out what you guys make of this brand new trailer. Do you have any concerns in regards to Resident Evil 2 Remake? Do you agree with some of the points that I have raised in this video? Just let me know in the comment section and we can have a little bit of a discussion. So I'm going to go ahead, stop this video here. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.